Hi, my name is Joshua and this is video two in the tutorial series about payload components, payload UI components. So in this video, we're going to talk about buttons because payload itself comes preloaded with or comes bundled with a button component that it uh, itself uses for buttons with icons and with all other kinds of buttons and we can use in our projects. So let's jump right in. So this is where we left off the last time. I removed the additional headlines and we start off by importing the button component. This uh, The button component is also in the elements folder. So if we just import button from here, this should work. Then I create a new div and we can create our button. So this button has a text, let's, let's call it test. And it also supports the very normal on click function. So if I put on click equals and then a function and we do now console.log test. Let's save this. And if we reload our page, we can click test and we see in the console that uh, the button works. So the button also supports different sizes. Um, we can talk to it by including the size parameter, size or using the size parameter. In this case, we want a small button, small. And let's save it again. We get a small button. Yes, it's now small. And the button also works if we want to link to other web pages and it, it does not only have on click, it also links, for example, um, let's you, uh, it links, for example, to Google, if we wanted to, we can set a base element and this it uses to render the button. So in this case, we want an anchor link to another web page anchor. So we have to set EL to anchor. And then we can use the URL parameter. And in this case, let's set it to HTTP, HTTPS uh, slash slash www.google.com. This name is Google. And we can also have it open in a new tab. New tab equals true. So let's save this and try it out. We have to reload the page. And yes, now can't be reached. Oh, I typed www, but no problem. Uh, you see it works, it links to a different page. And there is a third way we can use it, which is very important. If we want to link within our app, then we don't use the anchor tag. We want to use the link tag. Link, uh, new tab in this case, we don't need. We also don't need URL. But let's try uh, two and two. We have to link to admin or, or some other uh, some other collection we have, like collection, and we created a users collection. Let's link to users, so we can name this users, and it now links to users. So let's see. Reload it and. Ah, I think I named, I named it uh, wrong. Let's see, collection users, users, collections, it's uh, plural. So let's try that again. Let's go to the dashboard, users, collections. Oh, it's not reloaded. Okay, let's go to the dashboard again, users, and we're here, so this button works. Uh, the next step is that we can set different styles on this button. So in that case, this is a um, primary button, but we also have the button style secondary. So what this means, you're going to see in a moment, button style, yes, for accessing the styles, we have to set button style. Button style equals secondary. And we also have a, uh, another button style. I'm just going to copy this so you can see it. We have uh, the next button style is transparent. Transparent. So, and if you want to showcase that now, 
I have to reload the page and you see this is now how a secondary button looks and a transparent button simply has no background. Okay, that's it for the normal buttons. Um, let's come to the icon buttons. Okay, I removed all the parameters we don't need for the icon button, but it works uh, pretty much the same way. We set the button component, we have an on click or a to or uh, an URL parameter we can set, but if we wanted to show it an icon, we have to set it. And uh, this we do by using icon icon parameter and payload itself comes with a list of icons we can use we're going to go through them uh, let's start with the plus plus icon so we can simply say plus icon button style we also have to set to icon and can set the icon style icon style let's do this one without or with with uh, border so if we now look at the button buttons we have this users button and the plus button so if we go here uh, it prints out tests but yes you can see we have this plus button and we have more buttons more icons so let's just copy this and we also have the option to do it without border without border and we can also set an X icon. We can set an share, uh, Chevron icon, an edit icon, and a swap, swap icon, and a link icon. Link icon. I think that's them. So let's see. So. Yes, now we have the list of all uh, of the icons available. Here is a plus icon. Um, the X icon, in that case, without border, a chevron icon, an edit icon, a swap icon, and the link icon. And yes, that's pretty much it. We can also remove the text, so we only have the icon. So if I remove the text from these two, we are then left with, yes, simply the icons itself. And if you can see, we click on them, we have this test. So you don't have to actually import any library or something. You can just use the icons and the buttons that are already part of Payload. So that's it for today. Uh, see you the next time.